Hello, my friends. Bruce here. So this is pretty much the uh, run-of-the-mill garden variety, good quality, Craftsman Honda GCV160 engine. Uh, the owner phoned and said that he has uh, he's got trouble with the rewind. Right here, right there it is. Whoops, trouble with the rewind. Just sits on there like that. <clears throat> he took everything off, but he brought everything. He brought the spring, which doesn't look like it's damaged, right? But it's really, really rusty, eh? So I think that's why it popped off. It was probably starting to seize in this groove here. Now, you can, okay, I'm jumping right into this hard, hard big, big time, right? But the spring either goes in this way or this way. And there's a lot of little things that you can get wrong. But he's also brought all of the goodies. The spring, the retainer. Whoops, the spring probably goes right there, right? And, th and this retainer bolt, if you look carefully, is a reverse thread. So it, <clears throat> this all came to me like just like this. I haven't taken anything apart. So now we have the ammunition to do a direct compare. And all I need is, and I could do it without the comparison. It'll just take a little bit longer, right? So here we are. <clears throat> That's a good one. And let's just count how many, first of all, we'll count how many uh, wines we have on the spring. One, two, three, four, five. Exactly five. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> so now we take this one. Honda Easy Stuck. And we're going to clean all this up before we put anything back together again, but I just want to see now. Ah. This turns, this we want to start just like this, right? And then we turn this over. And we just wind it up. But I'm gonna, now that we're done this part, I'm ready to go. I know exactly directions and everything. That was just a, such an easy back check. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna clean this up with some steel wool. I'm going to put this in some solvent. And uh, hopefully that'll help rot away some of that, uh, some of that uh, just rust. It's just rust that's made that spring catchy. So, excuse me. I'm going to uh, just turn you off and I'll be back in just one second. All right, I got some solvent here. It's used. I wonder how, well, there's quite a bit of scudge in the bottom of there. So what I'm going to do is clean that out after. Obviously it's reused, right? So the first thing we're going to do is give this guy a bath without these feet or maybe with the feet I don't know mm. Mm. Okay, let's just give this guy a little wash. Need a little more solvent just to cover it up. Hey, let's do the same thing with this one. And then we'll clean out the jars when we're done. Thank you. 
Oh, a subscriber of mine gave me a super cool thing. It's a brush with little wires on it. That's what I'm looking for. That works pretty good. Splattery, eh? Now I'm just going to use the arrows to get this cleaned off. Not bad. I've been through worse, eh? It looks perfect. Okay, a little bit of air. I'll take you. We'll take it away from the camera. Okay, that looks like it should. Now we're going to dip this guy, see if we can get him in there. I guess not. We'll just use the wet brush. So oh, this was uh, just, I think, he said that he power washes this lawnmower all the time. And I think it's true because the lawnmower is very, very clean. But it doesn't, it, uh, this, this spring just rusted. Let's just blow that off once and see how it looks. It's almost new. Good. Now this little piece. I like this brush. It seems to be doing its thing, eh? Gouda. The little grabber dabbers. Now one of these grabber dabbers came out a little easier than the other one. It might have a broken internal clip mechanism. But we can, uh, I think it's going to be fine because it's got a lid or a, uh, it's got a retainer on top. It's amazing. You can get rust on plastic even when there's, pla when there's just plastic. It's just from the surrounding material. So the, the, the spring has lost some, some metal just by rusting. This is all I'm doing with the air. Now, this. But we have the secret weapon. A little bit of steel wool. Eh? See if that helps. It is dirty. I actually thought of putting this in my ultrasonic cleaner. Oh yeah, it's gonna clean up. Are you getting a lot shot of this? I could use a, a, a stronger grade of steel wool. 
My wife's got some SOS pads in the house. It's quite rusty. Let's just do a dunk. And how are we looking? Not bad. We only have, well there's probably six feet of spring here. I'm gonna go get an SOS pad from the house. Be right back. So this is four out steel wool. It's really, really fine. It's almost, it's what they use to shine wood for furniture preparation. This is an SOS and it, you can't use this on um, anything like uh, opaque plastic or, or anything like that. Okay, this is gonna be good. But I'm gonna need something roundish to work on. Because we're, there we go. I don't, maybe I can pinch it in here. That'll work, do both sides at the same time. Yeah, that's working great. SOS soap and solvent. Oops, don't bend it. Turn it around, now I'm halfway there. Can you see any of this? It's a little less corroded towards the tightly wound end. I've never seen a spring so rusted. I hope, I hope it goes back together okay. I tell you, this thing is icky. Are you getting a look at any of this now? Now that I've raised, lowered you up and raised you down? Okay, we'll start from this end now. Good. And we'll just work our way to the end now. Gooey. Good. One more. It even feels smooth now. Except right there. If you think I put on my work coat or I'd be covered in splatters. Okay, we're gonna dump this in this, for like a rinse. And I'm gonna blow it off. All right, well, let's wipe it down.
but I'm not quite ready to uh, pour that back into my little jars. I'm going to let it s sediment out. Oh, the spring. <laughs> That'll do. And I'm just going to wipe this mess up. Wow, that was pretty intense. That spring was filthy. Okay, where are we? The jars. Pour this dirty jar into this dirty jar. Rinse this jar out. Now I know there'll be new sediment in that solvent from the next time. But, or whatever, but. I think I better get a funnel. got to get rid of this goo in the bottom here. Uh, I, have an old, I have an old, um, got an old gas can that says really, really, really old gas. I'll put it in there. This is the one with the sediment, so it's going to be a bit dirty anyway. Look, look at that, eh? Steel wool. Perfect window. Now, put the lid on this one. And wipe up this. This looks like doing the dishes. Now I'm going to smell like solvent for a while, especially this coat. Because it's almost a kerosene, not quite, eh? Good. have this we have this now this turned over With springs I like to start are you getting this yes you are springs I start on the outside so this is just like this and believe it or not we're gonna this this goes in this direction just like this. I'm starting upside down for a reason, okay guys? So that starts right like that, just like there, if I can point, right there. And then, once you get it started, don't work from the inside, work from the outside. That's the whole secret to these springs. You don't have to fight, you don't have to hold it. You just do an internal wind. Of course, not letting it bounce back out again, right? Now the only problem we're gonna have is this rope is gonna be getting in our way. Because it's every time we go around, we go around the rope, right? Okay. <clears throat> maybe not, maybe we'll get lucky. There we go. We're on top. Now I just gotta start again. <laughs> Believe me, it's not that bad. Thinking of getting rid of this rope. I think I'm going to. I'm 
Okay, now it's just me and the spring. Okay, don't laugh at me. Now we're cooking. And we just work our way around. Naturally, each hole, each round is a tiny bit shorter than the last. There, that's what I was talking about. You just gotta take your patience. And if it goes wrong, you just start over. <coughs> okay, hold it tight now because we got a we got a kink, a tiny kink. Not a damaging kink. And now there's no rust flakes or anything holding it from going from binding again, eh? If you can wind them from the uh, in from outside in. One little kink here. Ah, there we go. An amazing amount of force on this thing once you get it all wound in here. Like that. Just like new. Now what I'm gonna do, you guys are gonna like. I'll be right back. This isn't in any books. This is air tool oil. It's a light oil, but not a heavy oil. So it doesn't get stiff in the winter time, right? And I'm gonna oil this spring. Good. Now, we gotta get this rope back through here. We have to remember, we just had solvent out, right? We, and we cleaned up all our solvent. Yes, it's all over there. Because so we're just going to burn the end of this. <laughs> just blow out the lighter. I need a little more than that. Good. And then this goes. Like that. As small a half a knot as you can get. And then on the vise, we uh, tighten her up. This is how I tighten up all my knots. Good. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Now, I dropped the spring on the floor. <clears throat> Paul, tiny screwdriver just to bring this in. And I'm gonna set that tab of the spring into this slot right, oops, sorry. Okay, here we are. There's the slot in the carrier, spring carrier, and there is a, a notch in the spring. And I'm just going to line it up as best I can. Need a flashlight. Just 
spring slot groove. Got it, that's it. Now we're gonna go back to the beginning like that. And I'm wondering, yes, I think I'm gonna take off the, uh, the rope one more time guys and I'm gonna hook it up after. I might even put on a new rope. I wanna put five wines in this bad boy. But before I do that, we're going to put everything together. So spring. Top. The little sticky outy feety. I'm going to put a little oil on those too. <clears throat> ah, looks like I think what's happening is one of these has a mini spring in it and one doesn't. Oh no, they do. They both do. Good. And then this guy goes like that. I think. Or is it this way? Um, there. Just like that. And this is a reverse thread T T25. So to turn it in you gotta go the other way. I don't think there's any parts left. So let me uh, just get my screwdriver out here. Oops. So it's weird, right? You got to go counterclockwise to turn it in. long ways. That spring has got some power to it. Okay, now we should be able to put five, five winds of spring into that, right? Yep, it's working. So now we want five winds on that bad boy, eh? Okay, so we'll call that one. One, two, three, four, in that zone. Stick something through there and we'll get our rope ready. Now when I tied the really tight knot in that rope I noticed that it kinked it. I don't know. He said that the rope was okay but I think I'm gonna stick a new rope on this guy. Okay I got some different ropes same same width four and a half and I'm just going to cook the ends on either end of this one. It's nice to have little rubber gloves on. And I'll cook the other end. This is four inches longer than the old one. And I just didn't like... Uh, I just wasn't happy with it. Okay. So now we are going to find our closest hole here. It's like that right there. So I, I just stuck it through. We're going to have a needle nose. Tie my little knot in it again. And we'll use the vise. Maybe the vise put too tight a knot in that. I don't know. I tell you. That should work well. 
Good. Okay, now we put the other end on. Now the other one had had that like the, the knot you find on the curtains. But I think I'm going to just do a double. All it is is a double there's a double knot, right? And then we just pull the heck out of that. And I really go on these. Oh, I pulled it out of the vise. Hey! And I was smart enough to put the handle on first. Now, this should almost wind up like this one with about a, with about a foot hanging out. Let's see. Give her a couple stretches. Yeah, that's pretty close. <clears throat> now this little lead stopper, where'd I put that? Right here. Was twenty was thirty inches from the end. Oh, well, I, I checked that before I took it off. Pretty smart, eh? But let's just uh, make life easy for ourselves and stick a vice grip on this rope. And we go 30, 29 and a half from the handle, actually. Right there. So that's where the little lead shot goes. And we'll squeeze that in the vise too, seeing how we have it here. have to open it up a little bit more. That's easy. There. Now we'll remeasure that 29 inches. Got to come in an inch. Twenty-nine. Now I'm going to just squeeze this in the vise. Maybe. <laughs> right like that. Should work. That should hold her. Yeah, let's put it on the. Uh... No, my lawnmower doesn't have one of these. Let's put her back on the machine. Here you're watching. I might as well bring this over and squish it in the vise. As long as it goes on like that. And I think it was like that. Uh, uh. I think that's how it was. Okay, I'm just going to right like this, squish this together because I pried it apart to. Uh... Uh. That's just a my disappointment grunt. Good. Okay, now we can really put this together. That goes back on there like that. With three of our mounting buddy bolts. I will 
will find it. I'll be right. I will find it. I'll be right back. So we got that on there. I don't even know if you saw that. I just did up the three. Now I'm looking for the little nut that holds that on. Now I'm not the nut, okay? Alrighty. Let's mount this. On this one, the engine's metric and the frame is standard. I oh, know it's crazy. This. So this is a 7 16 uh, nylon washer's nut. Going backwards. Now, I'm just going to grab a 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to check everything for tightness. That's the 7 That's nice and tight. I did not put these on that tight. And that's a nice 2 inches away from there. Right there. That's usually where they sit. So they're kind of useless, but. I think it's, it's for when the handlebars are up like that or down and it just pop, keeps it from popping in. So let's see how this lawnmower runs because it came in without a rewind, right? We're going to let it warm up a little bit. I'm just going to check the fuel or oil. Oh, the oil looks good. I don't even know if it needs a change. Hmm. I love it when machines come in that clean. Oh, needs a new air filter. Okay, it's going to get it to Let's just take it down. into my mower. Oh, ha! Turn gas on. Funny. I don't usually turn mine off. I'm a bad person. Let's fire it up again. That's kind of fun. Mine has the same crazy wax choke pin that expands out, and it takes about 30 seconds or so to for the choke to come off too. It drives me crazy because it, you know, you think a, an automatic choke or a semi-automatic choke would come off as soon as it starts running. So I'm going to start it up again and let it run, and then we'll change the oil. I don't think you guys want to see a service. If I come back for the service, great. If you're going to start a job, you might as well finish a job, right? So let's get the oil out of this bad boy. Let's see if we can do it without spilling any. 
and we'll take the blade off and sharpen it if required. This guy is a good man. He keeps, looks after his stuff. Oh. My door was just about to blow shut because I opened the two. Okay, the test. No hot mufflers. Good. Gosh, do you think I can change the oil without spilling any? Let's get that blade off of there. That'll be a 14 millimeter. We're going to use air. Oh, yeah, we might as well use. Other guys have said you don't need uh, impact wrenches on most small engine stuff, but it's handy. Look at it! <laughs> I love this guy. Look at underneath this lawnmower. I think Glenn deserves the prize. A little couple nicks on the blade, but oh my gosh, I have never seen a lawnmower come in this clean. What a pleasure. I'm going to publish this as soon as I can. I love it. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Sharpen. And it's not bad. Look at, I mean, really, does it even need to be sharpened? Just a tiny bit on the end there. And a few more on this side. I love it! Thanks, guys. I'll be back after we have the blade on and the uh, lawnmower back on its wheels. Alright, it's got oil in it. I just checked the plug. I cleaned it on the wire brush. And then I make sure there's no wire brush pieces in the plug and now we're just putting a new air filter on this bad boy before we throw it on the ground there we go think about this here just gotta wipe her down you always want to see the final result before yes I think you have to see it wiped down first don't you It is all wiped down. One more start now that it's got everything it's uh, supposed to have. We'll just do a quick rundown. Wipe down. Spark plug. No, wipe, wipe down, air filter backwards. Wipe down, air filter, spark plug, oil, blade, and the original problem came in. The rewind was well, had come, come apart just from rust. We saved the spring. Okay, let's give her a go. We'll use the choke, I don't know. Done. Thanks for watching this one, guys. <laughs>